I hate wash day. Come on, Gordon, hurry up. I said if I didn't do his washing, I know he wouldn't do it himself. Oh. Come on, Gordon, I haven't got all day. Clouding up. Why does it always rain on wash days? Oh, there you are. Is this it? There's another smelly old load from the gopher's burrow. What is in here? Your dirty football kit? Gordon, where have you been playing? In a swamp? You've been down the drains again, haven't you? You've only worn it once. Since your last game? Gordon, you haven't played football for over a year. Smell that. Smell. Smell. I know. He's honking. This is a health hazard. It should be in quarantine. I'm going to need vaccinations now. Now what's he up to? What on earth? What do you mean, keep quiet? I... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I should have guessed. Singing your pet rock, a lullaby. Oh, really? Robbie, is it? Robbie the Rock. Terrific. A trained sheep rock, no less. Used for rounding up sheep by gophers. Oh, that's incredible. Gordon, rocks can't run around. They don't move at all. As for rounding up sheep, that's ridiculous. Well, can he? All right, well, make him run around the room then. Come on, if he's a trained sheep rock, then make him race backwards and forwards across the room. Why? I see, of course. He's asleep. Well, <laughs> good, good. Well, you haven't gone completely mad, have you? I'm going to go and get a paper now, Gordon. What? Set your temperature there. I'll try very hard not to wake Robbie the Rock up, okay? Gordon, you do realize you've gone completely off your trolley. <laughs> a pet rock, I ask you. Actually, I do quite like the idea of having a pet, maybe a cat or a, a budgie. Or a gopher retrieving Labrador. Fetch boy, go get the gopher. Or whatever you do, don't touch his laundry. <laughs> See how my team got on. Snake escapes from local zoo. Oh dear. If there's one thing Gordon's terrified of, snakes. I've been thinking, I might get a pet for the flat. Like a gopher retrieving dog, perhaps. No, you'll excuse me for saying, Gordon, but I really don't consider Robbie to be the ideal family pet, do you? Is he woken up now? Right, okay then. Well, make him move. Make him go back the other way. It's amazing. Hey, you can I have it? Can I? What do I have to do? Squeak like you do. <coughs> Too loud. <coughs> All right. Show me how it's done then. Well, it is incredible. It's incredible. I think I've got the hang of it, though. Okay, Robbie. Concentrate. Train sheep rock. Now look what you've done. Uh, yes, but it was your rock. Perhaps now you'd like to get Robbie to round up someone to mend my vase. It's not funny. 
I suppose I'll have to clean that up now, or somebody gets hurt, namely me. I don't think I'll get a pet after all, Gordon. It's dangerous enough just having you round here. I've lost count of the amount of times I've had to live in men's bars. That guy down at the shop thinks I'm a complete nutter. Every single time I go and say, oh, I'm terribly sorry, my pet gopher did it. What? Yeah, pet gopher. He thinks I'm balmy. I've got a screw loose or something. This is very expensive. I've, I paid a fortune for this vase. That's enough, Gordon. Gordon, that's quite enough. You're not busting the place up. You're making a horrendous noise. For goodness sake, Gordon, it is only a vase. There is no need for hysterics. Am I hysterical? Gordon, can't you be quiet for just two minutes? Oh, no! It's another one come to visit us. A friend of Robbie's, perhaps. Who could this be? Let me know. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Let me see. Um, oh, 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 look. Too squidgy for a pet rock. Um, oh, much too long for a pet mushroom. I don't know. Perhaps, Gordon, it's a pet sock. That's what it is. It's a pet sock. It must be Cyril the pet sock. Come to visit us. Well, that's nice, isn't it? A biting sock. Oh, it's a biting sock. Goodness me, yes, all I've heard of them. They can be very dangerous indeed, can't they, yeah? Well, is he asleep, do you think? Let's wake him up, shall we? Yoo-hoo, Cyril, Cyril the sock. Come along now, time to wake up. Come on, come on, let's have a look, shall we, Gordon? Come along, come along, come on. Well, it's not a sock, Gordon. It's a snake. It's a snake, Gordon. It's a snake. It's a quick. Come here. Hey, man, it ain't safe around here with those two weirdos throwing stones and poking me in the ribs. And why they call me Cyril? My name is Sanchez. I've had enough. I'm going back to the zoo. He's safer there. Adios! Exercises. Just have a breakfast. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Now, you don't want to overdo it. Some breakfast. Morning, Gordon. How are you? Right? Hungry. See what have I said to you? You should always eat a proper breakfast. Stop it. Listen. <sighs> you must look after yourself, Gordon. Eat and exercise. Eat and exercise properly. I mean, when was the last time you even went for a walk? Last night. Pizza parlour, Gordon, is right next door. That hardly qualifies for a walk. Anyway, having pizza before you go to bed is not healthy. These are the sort of things you should eat. Fresh fruit juice, muesli, wholemeal toast, some tea. Gone? Well, bless my soul. Someone seems to have eaten my breakfast. I wonder who it could be. I know I said you should eat a proper breakfast, Gordon, but not necessarily mine. I don't know why I put up with you, honestly. I really don't. You are hopeless. I'm just going in to work on the new bike to pick up a script, Gordon. Oh, there you are. See? Cycling. Now that's real exercise walking to the pizza parlour indeed. Hmm? Now that's not a problem. We'll soon have that pumped up. These pumps are brilliant. They're so easy to use. I'm going to cycle into work. I'm going to have my lunch. And I'm going to come back home again, all right? No, you can't come as well. I'll be there back in no time on this. I can't hang around for you. I'll see you later anyway. Okay, this thing is completely hopeless. 
have to run the whole way because of you. Dead easy. Yeah, don't know. I just... Mom, oh, <laughs> lunch. I missed my breakfast, you know. Did you eat both of these? <laughs> did I, Eck? God made one of them. How did you get here before me? You've got to lift off somebody, I know. You know, he must be really fit. Gordon fits. <laughs> hey, well, I bet he doesn't go without his breakfast. I know he doesn't go without his breakfast. Or my breakfast. All my lunch come to that, you porker. What's he saying? He says, if he's such a porker, why don't we have a race? Gordon, can I just point out that you do have six-inch legs? I'll have a race with you. First one home's the winner. That'll prove who's the fittest, fine. Hey, that's not fair, though. You've got your bike. There's nothing wrong with my bike, Gordon. All right, a race, as long as you promise to play fair. Gosh, I'm you happy. He's not athletic, he's just showing off. Right, let's get on with it. Zoe, you start us. Okay, do you want me to pump your tyre up No, first? thank you, I can do that. Okay. Right, on your marks. Get set. Go! Have you trouble? No, thank you, everything is fine. <laughs> to run all the way back thanks to you. Totally exhausted. I don't believe it. Still, I bet I'm first back. Right. get here before me because you're fit you're fit Gordon I know you cheated 